Ava. Hi guys, it's Carly from In Duluth, and I'm here with two-time French national champion and your Autumn Classic 2019 silver medalist, Kevin Amos. Welcome, Kevin, to In Duluth. Hi. <laughs> We're so excited to have you, especially with your competitions coming up. Oh yes, me too. Thanks to interviewing me. You're welcome. So you've already started out your season with a silver medal at Autumn Classic. How was the competition? What was it like doing so well so early in the season? Uh, I think I was already ready, like more ready than last season, because last season it was my real first senior season and I was a little bit stressed and not really prepared. But this season with John and Sylvia, we were off ice and my programs and technical like to be like more like consistent in the jump so and I was less stressed because it was my second last second season in senior so I was more ready to, to compete and I was really exciting to compete because last season I did pretty good season for me so all the summer I was just waiting competition to skate again so you were like really excited to start your season Oh yes, and now I can't I can't wait to do all competitions right now. <laughs> That's awesome. So you said last season was kind of like your first official senior season. Were you especially nervous for last season? Yes, because it was the first time I was doing two senior Grand Prix and European Championship and World Championship. So it was like for me like the, a real one full season. Even in junior, I was always doing stuff. Not all competition so it was like for me the real sportive season and yes like it was the first time for every competition so I was more stressed and the goal it was just to create a name for me for everyone can remember me so yes and I was more stressed last season I don't know why but for the first season in senior yes so you had a really good selection of programs last season how did they come about because they were really good for making a name for yourself Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I know people are here and looking figure skating for the performance. And I love, and people love, like, what's about the story of why we choose this music or everything. And me, I know I'm not choosing a music just to do, like, a performance on the music. I need, like, feel something on the music. And last season, when I choose my long program, it was matching with what I feel in my life. So it was easy for me like to express myself on the component part of the program. And yes, yes, it was just like matching with me and the music. So it was more easy to express myself. Mm -hmm. So you have a new set of programs this season. You have the Prince program to the question of you, and then you have Lighthouse. Can you tell us a little bit about how these ones came about, especially the short program, because it's really fun. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. So last season, I chose Horns by Bryce Fox. Um, it was my best friend. She said like, oh, listen, this." we was listening some song. And, and I said, OK, we are in July and I need a short program. So and she said, oh, we're going to. So I was at her home and we was just listening some song. And, and she gave me like the playlist of the song. And when I was in US, I listened again some song and I was in my shower and horns start. And I was like, oh, my God, I need to go to the rink with this one. And I put the, the music on on the rink and John directly came to me and said, oh my God, we need to skate on this one. And I said, yes. <laughs> and at the end of the season, it was a, for me, I think I did the maximum I can do on this program. So we said, right now we need the programs, like something like I can catch everyone with me. So it was the challenge to find a program more like, we said something with Sylvia, we said like, we need a program or music like people can clap in the hand during the programs. So the question of view, it's hard because the rhythm and tempo is not like that. But it was the way we want a new short program. Like people can be really inside of the program and I catch everyone with me. So then Lighthouse, you said last season your free program was kind of like easier to express for you. Is Lighthouse a, a program like that for you? So before we build lighthouse we did a program on the music and i felt the music with me and everything was good but i didn't 
who was in connection with the music. And after we made the long program, I said, okay, we need to change right now the program because I'm not going to enjoy and express something. And I said, okay, I think I have a song. It's Lighthouse by Patrick Watson. And John and Sylvia said, yes, we already like listened like this song like a few weeks ago. So they said, okay, but Bruno and Aliona skate on this one two years ago, so we don't know. And I said, okay, but I'm going to skate this one, but with my style. And the lyrics of this song like are matching again with what I feel. So it's really easy to skate on and express myself and and it's more like the program it's more like smart because making the program like more easy for the technical but can and I can still still like express myself because lyrics are matching with what I think. So next question you kind of talked about how you made a name for yourself last season so you've had a really big rise in attention you gained a lot of attention for your unique programs and your performance uh, what was this experience like and how has it affected your training and your skating? Oh, so the goal of last season, it was just, I said create a name because it's the only way I can say it in English, create a name. Because I just want like, that's how like sometimes figure skating works. Like you need to create your name and after like audience and judges like gonna follow you. That's mm-hmm. how it works. And the goal was that like arrive in figure skating circle and say hello I exit I'm I'm here and now the I did this goal so a big check mark on this one and now the goal of the season now people remember me it's like to arrive like to perform and show what I can do like it's the next step now so now that you've changed your goal are you like are you training differently Um, I think I didn't change my goal because I'm already thinking of the future from like long ago I it was just like a smart work with John and Sylvia like a step at a time last season we was like just going slowly and say okay we need like work slowly do stuff like smart and build my skating so now this season I feel more ready to prove to people and perform in competition so yes we change we changed the work because now the for sure the goal was last season so we need like do more like we change the work off ice the work on ice it's a step at a time and yes we build like step by step so speaking of your performance skills is that something that you've trained a lot or do you find it comes naturally to you (laughs) um (laughs) i'm working on my skills and skating and an hour per day is like I can't skate or jump or do stuff before I don't do my full hour of skating and it's just like the best feel ever that's why I feel uh, I'm still skating because when I'm on ice and I feel just my blade like lighting on ice it's the best feel ever and I love like just like move on ice and I don't know it's I extend my body my arms my legs and do the movement and do the skills of the figure skating and everything. I think it's a little bit naturally because I feel what I'm doing with my blades, with my body, with my muscle, with everything. But it's a lot of part of working too. It's half and half, I think. Mm-hmm. So you kind of talked about how um, like your, your new goal or like what you want to do with this season now is to perform and show your capabilities. Do you have any other goals for this season specifically? Uh, I have like a main goal, like the way I want to go. It's like to perform this season. But inside of the way, I have some stop. And this stop, it's my small goal of the season, like be on the podium of Grand Prix, be the national champion again, go to European and perform at the European and be on the podium and go to the world and do the best I can. Maybe the final, if I do well, it's a step by step. The main goal is like to perform and do the maximum I can do clean and everything. Yep. So you finished fourth at last season's Euros, which was a pretty high placement. So your goal is to beat that? Oh yes, for sure. That's why I continue because last season when I finished fourth, 
I was so happy. Like really, I didn't care about the podium. Yes, like inside of me, I was like, oh no, it's so close. Like I did like seven turn on the spin, so it was like an half of points, and I'm at 0.20 of the podium. I'm like, oh no, and I did a fall, and I pop a loop, so I'm like, it was really close. So, but I was happy last season because that's what I said. It was my first like season in real full season in senior and and the season before I was not skating. So for me, like fourth or ten or on the podium, I was just happy because I did my job on this competition. But right now I'm like, okay, last season the podium was so close. Right now you need to be on this podium, Kevin. You need to work, and I think it's not to to beat the people or other skater, it's like to be better than myself, if you see what I mean. It's not yeah. like a fight against the other skaters, it's a fight against me to say, okay, you need to fight to be on the podium. Mm-hmm. So you said you're looking forward to your Grand Prix. Uh, your first is in France. What is skating on, on home ice like to, for you? Oh, I'm, I feel just so blessed and lucky. Because we're only six countries to have Grand Prix in seniors. And inside of this, it's like to be from a city and the country pick like your city to be the the owner of the competition. Okay, so I feel just so lucky to be at home. Like I can put some little bit stress because I know all of my friends, all of my family, every skater with who I skate when I was young, like everyone is going to be there. But I feel just so lucky to be at home because I know the place. And mm-hmm. yes, I, I'm, I feel just lucky and I'm so excited to skate. So it adds a little bit of pressure, but you're more just happy to be there. I think the pressure, it's like, oh, yes, because it's at home. But I feel lucky because it's my home and I know the place. Like other skaters don't know this ring. And I know perfectly this ring from like I was five and I'm 22. So <laughs> I'm just, uh, yes, I feel like so lucky. Like, and no, it's just exciting to be home and skate from the family and friends. And But after doing the programs, like this part totally disappeared. I'm not thinking of that. I'm really inside of my program. So I can think like I'm at home or in other city, like during the performance saw the program like everything disappear like you're here kind of going off of that like when you're performing like what is in your head like are you thinking about like jump after jump or are you thinking about your performance oh my god during my programs like my brain it's so thinking about so much stuff like i'm thinking of my jumps i'm thinking I'm thinking of competitions, I'm thinking of everything in the same time, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> so we work with John and Sylvia to do like every element of the program like a box, so I don't know how to say, like, yes like a box, and the first element, technical element, it's a box and when you're done with this box, you put this box away, and after you change the box, and you look this box and change, so it's like one element at a time. It's like step by step. But Yes, yes, like it's, okay, I'm gonna explain, but it's so bad. It's like the stuff like where you put your clothes in the, in your home Mm -hmm. and everything's like you put like a stuff and you close and after the next one you close and the next one you close. It's Mm -hmm. like that. So every element, it's a part and when the jump it's over or the speed, like you close it, but after you can't go back on this one and you need to be there for the, the next one. Yeah, I understand. Um. No, that makes that makes sense. It's like a step by step thing. Oh uh, yes. So going on to your choreography, uh, you're known for like like everyone knows you for having lots of like unique and innovative choreography, like the slide you do and like fun things. Like so, how do you come up with these? Oh, I'm working with John and Sylvia because I inside of me I have a lot of idea, and John and Sylvia are so good to that because they let me express myself like. Always with John and Sylvia, we have fun on ice to find new moves and new fun stuff. And I love just, it's the best part of the year, like one of the best parts because there are a lot of parts in the season, but like to create something and work on something and, and after you find something and you build something and after you can show to people, that's so cool to do. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you've mentioned you like you would like to uh, possibly choreograph for other skaters. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, that's my dream to be a choreographer, like to teach dance on the floor. I'm not like the best dancer in the world, but I have a lot of idea of movement of the body and express stuff or like make teams on ice or like, I'm not like really show person. I prefer competition, but I would like to create something for the shows or for dance on the floor, like for shows, like, or for like music video or movies Mm -hmm. or. Like, I just want to, like, create something. Yes. So, would you say that you have a, you play a big part in your own choreography? On the short program this season, I choreograph, I think, between 80 or 90 percent of the programs. John and Sylvia help me, because without John and Sylvia, this program doesn't look like a program, because... I said, okay, I want that, I want that, I want this here, I want this. And John and Sylvia put everything to make everything like matching and be one movement and not like a lot of stuff in this order. So without John and Sylvia, the program not going to look like that for the short. And I have help from one of their skaters and they helped me like just to, I had all of idea and what I want to do in the programs. But yes, without John and Sylvia and people, like, I can't, like, make everything together. Mm-hmm. But I have, like, yes, 80, 90 percent of the programs from me. And I'm so awesome. Happy. Yeah, they look really awesome. So, John and Sylvia, you train in Florida. And you just moved there in the past couple of years. How has training been in Florida been different from training in your previous location? Mm, first, because it's a different different country and different culture of the sport so in florida in france you don't have ice all the day in florida with the rink we have ice all day so you can skate not when you want but you have like a big scale of skating so and what i find with john and sylvia it's i find like someone like with who i can speak with like like everything's matching together we are like a small team and we do everything we can do a fight, a nice. I don't know how to explain, but and John and Sylvia know what to do on ice. The work because they already did in the past because they go both like at Olympic games and they know how it works. Mm-hmm. So I trust them like my eyes closed and yes like and right now I can't see my I can't see my future in skating without John and Sylvia right now. So you do you feel like you found like a really good like coaching system oh yes like i know nothing happened like everything happened for a reason and i feel yes so lucky again like to find john and sylvia at the good moment in my life and yes i I feel just so lucky yes so kind of going into the grand prix season what's the most recent thing that's motivated you or inspired you oh I'm just so excited to skate because I have two good programs, like, and I just want to show that. And yes, I'm just so excited to skate. I don't know why, but I just want to skate and excited to be on ice. Maybe like for the goals, I want to be on the podium. Maybe for the final, I'm going to fight. I'm not sure, like, because it's, it's a final, so it's hard. But if I'm going, I'm going to fight at the final to do something. If I'm not going, it's okay. Like, I just want to skate, so... I'm so excited to skate. That's Mm -hmm. it. Do you have any advice or like motivational quotes that you would say to someone who's struggling? I know for me, like I had like a bad moment for me where I'm really like, like go up, go down. And even like, I'm really excited to skate next week. I'm still waking up like, that they're going to be so hard. But when I wake up and I'm like, it's going to be so hard. I'm like, okay, Kevin, remember why you do that, why you love that. And and after when I'm on ice and I fight, even I'm doing like six four, ten 10 falls or a perfect program in a day, I'm like, it's just so good to be here and lucky to do that. Mm-hmm. And I just remember what I love in figure skating. And after I'm like, yes, it's day by day you build something. If you have a week, like it's a bad mood, like 
it's just a moment and keep skating and and keep wake up with the heads up and say okay you need to find something positive in why you wake up to go to skate i don't know if everything makes sense of what i say but yes just when you wake up and you need to go to skate and you don't want and you're like oh no remember why you do that mm-hmm. just remember like why you fall in love with skating why you love that why you want to go and where you want to go and it's gonna work really yeah i understand so moving on to just some sort of fun questions if you could have any skill that another figure skater has any discipline or any skill what would it be if i can be like another have the skill of another skater mm-hmm. oh my god um, i want the powerful of not of the skating of anu but he has something when he go now you can you can see only hanyu on ice like if i was at the autumn classic with him on ice and i was like giving my best at training like i'm a small skater so i try to be like big and everything something inside of him like power and i would love uh, that more and more mm-hmm. <laughs> and after i wish like i don't know like i have too much skater i want stuff and i i would love of the easy jump like that and chen mm-hmm. but even if i want the stuff of other skater like i'm building my own skate it's not that i don't need the things of other skater but starting with like cuz everyone's different mm-hmm. yes yeah you you have your own capabilities do you have any favorite performances by any other figure skaters or teams there's a lot of skaters i like on ice cuz that's what i said everyone's different so everyone has something different like i gonna love the spin of someone i gonna love the one jump of someone i gonna love the skating skill of someone i gonna love the other skating skill of someone else and right now i can't tell you a program or a performance i love because there's too much and nothing in the same time mm-hmm. but i have a lot like in pair skating i have like five programs in my head i'm like i love this program in ice dance i have like maybe like five performance i love in my head and like yes in single skating like girls i have like some girls i was like oh my god yes that's so good mm-hmm. and guys too but right now i can't tell you who yeah so do you find that do you like watching figure skating of other people no <laughs> <laughs> um I'm only following figure skating because I have some friend in figure skating so I love like skating during grand prix but if I can choose like to see a movie or figure skating I'm like mm, maybe I'm going to watch a movie but I'm following skating because I need like to know what happened in figure skating world like right now because it's going to help me like to grow my skate and and to know what happened like it's like the, the actuality like a newspaper like every morning you need to know what happened in the world because you live in this world and i'm living in the figure skating world so i need like to be to know what what happened in competition mm-hmm. do you have like any memorable performances of your own like any programs at uh, specific competitions that you remember oh uh, i think just pick one competition like i can say like my first world champ junior champ my second one the european championship of last season my first world in senior like every competition is different with different fields so i can't pick to like i can give a list of competition but in the same time i can't give something mhm is there a like a style or type of program that you'd really like to try i'm on for everything really i have a lot of ideas in my head so right now too and what i want to do i'm like I want for every style of programs mm-hmm. but I need to find the one I can perform. So you just want to challenge everything really. Oh yes. Thanks again to Kevin for talking to us. We'll provide links to Kevin's social media where you can find him in the transcript of this interview and we wish him the best at IDF. Thanks for listening and watch out for our upcoming Grand Prix coverage.